The Jaguar F-Pace hits the market 2016, but now Jaguar presents the most sporty version of that car. It's called F-Pace SVR. We're talking about an engine here, V8, 5 liter of displacement, 550 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque. What that means for such an SUV and very important, how much fun you can have with it. Let's find out now. Look at that powerhouse. We already know these quite thin headlamps here from the standard version, if you want an LED for sure, but that is a completely different game. You see this massive grill, these massive air intakes here at the side, and important, these are real air intakes. There is a cooler system right behind each of them. And then you have this big one down here, and you have a fin at the front that makes the car a lot more crisp from the front. And then on top of this, you have these air outtakes here at the hood. And this together is only saying one word, power. At the side of the car, the first thing that you look at are these big wheels. As standard, the car comes with 21-inch alloys, but our car is featuring the optional 22-inch rims. And I think very important are the brakes, and these performance brakes, they do feature a disc of 395 millimeter. And if you need some grip, that's not a problem, because the car features 265 mil at the front, 295 at the rear. I think that should be sufficient. The rear of the SVR, of course, is sporty as well. We have these LED taillights. They are very similar to the taillights of the F-Type. And of course, we do have very massive shoulders, a great stance. And what I like the most are these four chrome trumpets down there. And I have to tell you, I can listen to the music they play all day long. So now we're driving through the harbor of Cannes. And this picture here with all these big yards, that really fits our car absolutely perfectly because the entrance price of the Jaguar F-Pace SVR is 99,500 euros in Germany. And of course, you can order extras. And these extras add up quickly. For example, the 22-inch wheels of our test car alone will cost 1,873 euros. And depending on the chosen color, up to 11,500 euros may be charged for the special finish. The interior of the SVR is even better than the interior of the standard F-Pace. You do find this soft leather here, standard leather here, you do find carbon fiber optics, and you find on top very nice stitching, and the whole package really gives you a mixture out of luxury and sportiness. The seats of the SVR, they do offer such a great amount of support and yes, they're comfortable enough, but who cares? More important is when you drive these curves and bends quick, you never ever have to think about having enough support or staying in the seat. They are just like a tailor-made suit. It's really absolutely fantastic how easy you stay in your seat and you control your car. Until now, you could have ordered an F-Pace with a diesel or petrol engine and a power range between 163 up to 300 horsepower. But this one here is a completely different game. You see, there's no space left, and this is because of the V8 5-liter compressor engine. And that delivers 550 horsepower, 680 newton meters of maximum torque. And on top of this, you get all-wheel drive and you get an eight-speed automatic gearbox. And that is enough to accelerate that rocket in only 4.3 seconds from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. Top speed here is 283 kilometers per hour. To make the F-Pace SVR and its power working on the road, it has a tuned chassis with stiffer dampers and higher spring rates, 30% at the front, 10% at the rear axle. In addition to an electronically controlled active differential on the rear axle, the setup of the gearbox, the power steering and the torque vectoring system are more sporty. 
The suspension of the F-Pace SVR really is absolutely great for dynamic drives, but if you drive that car through a city with all these speed bombs and all these little bombs on the road and not the perfect surface always, it really gets a bit uncomfortable because even if you drive in the standard mode, the car is already so stiff that you can really feel like now everything really and direct and this really is a lack of comfort and this is the only thing where I can say well they should have thought about it if, if they could provide the car with a real comfort mode that would be a big plus for this car. 550 horsepower and a V8 are facts that keep the numbers of real competitors small. Similar figures can be found at the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio with its 510 horsepower from a 2.9 litre V6 bi-turbo engine. Another competitor is for sure the Mercedes AMG GLC 63S which draws its 510 horsepower from a 4 litre 8 cylinder with a twin turbo. An entry price of just under 100,000 euros may sound high but is not unusual in this league. For example, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio starts from 89,000 euros onwards. And for a Mercedes AMG GLC 63S you have to pay at least 90,975 euros in Germany. When I drove the SVR through the countryside here in France, I really have to say every single gear shift caused goosebumps and every time I finished one tight band I really have to breathe deeply to get some fresh air because it's absolutely amazing how you can drive that car on these roads. And then there is the sound. That was my test drive in the new Jaguar F-Pace SVR and to make it short that car is absolutely adorable. The only two little things where I would start complaining a bit is the headrest, they are a bit too low for tall people like me and the other thing is the suspension is so stiff that means if you drive on a motorway or in the countryside all fine but if you drive that kind of standard mode through a city or on bumpy roads that's far away from being comfortable but on the other hand being on the track with that car is an absolute fun and I can tell you this machine really puts a smile on everybody's face who loves cars.